Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Um, so what we're doing is we had our little, uh, what do you call it? Um, texture selector. Now I want to make sure we can hide that texture selector and we can do all that stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Um, so we go ahead and open... Just stops lagging. GUI.cpp, GUI.h. We had some stuff ready to go. Um, let's see. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Why isn't this working? Let's try running this. Should work. Okay, there we go seems to be working it's just a little buggy then we're just gonna go ahead and use this yeah, it's working okay use this um, boolean that we have active right now we're gonna need a boolean that is hidden so let's just create that a boolean hidden and we're gonna create a a button pointer um let's just call it hide button all right so once we do that i think we're gonna have to we're in the namespace so we don't have to do it but we could just write gui here just for fun so we're gonna have to define these now how do i define a button let me just see here i think we have a button in here's the constructor um da, 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 da. let's see all right you know what? let's just start off by going in here go into the texture selector definitions uh, and yeah we're good and uh, where is it right here okay here we go sorry about that uh, this hidden false all right, we might want to set this to true from the start, but we'll just set it to false for now. And then we're going to define the button as well. But let me just do a delete this hide button, okay? And the button is going to just let us um, open up and close this texture selector. It's going to be a little easier for us to work with. Um, this hide button equals, uh, where is it? null pointer just for now so don't worry we'll, we'll define it in a second um but what i want to do if it's hidden i don't want any of this to to update uh, i want to do if this hidden um then we're going to do the button update but otherwise we're just going to do let's see uh, no, we don't want to else. Actually, if it's not hidden, that's when we're going to do all this shit. Alright. So if it's not hidden, then we're updating. Otherwise, we're going to update the button at all times. So I'm just going to do a this hide, hide button update. And I don't know what it needs. It needs a mouse position. Mouse plus window. Alright, let's just do that. Uh, it needs an eye though. Oh, to add a concept to 2f. Okay, so it needs a vector 2f. SF. Oh, where? Here we go. Let's just cast it real quick. Beautiful. Wait. Let's just cast that like that. And just send it in. Okay, so here we go. So we'll update it with that. And then we'll render the button. This hide button render target all right and if this hidden then we're gonna render everything else so this will just make sure that it doesn't update anything if it's hidden right and that's what we want so it's a really good way of doing it there you go um boom 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 all right, now we got to define this. So let me find a button definition. A good place I put buttons is in the main menu state. In init buttons, it's got to be a button in here. Let's just copy one of these. 
uh, let's see, new GUI bundle. Let's just copy that and then go to where I put null pointer. Let's just do this, okay? So there you go. So we got a new button. I'm probably going to have to, let's see, uh, where are we? Editor state dot h. We do have a font. Editor state. Okay. So what we got to do is we got to send in a font in here to actually get the symbol. So let's do that. SF font font. And then we're just going to do a STD string text. That's the button text. All right. So we're just going to do a font and a text for now. Go back in here. Put that in there. Uh, and what we could do is just go down like that and then actually do that as well. Let's make it a little easier to read, you know? There you go. Uh, so now we do have a font that goes in and a text. So I'm just going to say font right here. And I'm going to say text right here. All right. Uh, there you go. Okay. Does it want a reference to that font? Okay. The, the pointer to that. So that's cool. We'll just keep it like that. 50. Probably not. 50 is probably not a good idea. Maybe, maybe 30 and the text. Okay. So we'll just leave it at that for now. The size is crazy. Let's just say maybe it will be 50. Wait, this is the position, isn't it? This is the size. So we'll just say 50, 50. Um, that's good that we'll keep the color. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now in the editor state where we define this, where we create it, I'm just going to go ahead and <clears throat> give it the values we need right here this font and then we're gonna do uh, maybe we'll just give it a symbol let's say TS let's say TS let's call it TS and we'll be fine and there we go okay all right now the sidebar is probably gonna be on the left or the right doesn't really matter uh, probably on the left so I'm gonna put it at a position I'm put it at maybe 20 and maybe 20 so 20 20 something like that um, and then we're gonna set the texture selector itself well, let's put it at x y actually x y like that and then we'll put this at set position maybe plus 60 Something like that. We'll keep it plus 60. See how that looks. Let's just render this. And the button doesn't do anything yet, but we will uh, We'll see. At least it will show, hopefully. Um, okay, it's not really showing. It should be right there. But we have the textures here. That's kind of weird. Uh, no, that's because we're doing that. Okay, you know what? We're just going to do this just for now and we're going to render the button at the end here okay like that we'll update the button let's try this again hopefully we'll see the button okay the ts button is right there cool and we can click it as well perfect perfect um very nice very nice so that what we want to do is we want to say uh, we got to set everything to the offset though. So let's do a float offset right here. 60.f and then we'll just plus it with the offset here. Plus offset. All right, and we'll just do it to the for the x offset right there we'll just do it for the x stuff um there we go plus offset 
K plus offsets. It's kind of annoying, <laughs> but you know we gotta do it. Um, it seems to be good, I think. Let's run this, and then we should be we should be fine. Editor. All right, so we got the TS button, and we got the selector stuff. Can still select things, still paint. Uh, looks fine to me. Can remove all this stuff. And it's getting the correct values, so that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. And then the TS itself uh, will... Uh, the clicking on the TS will make sure we we hide it. So basically, that's what I want to do. Um, let's see. <coughs> let's go back to update. So we'll update the button, and then we'll say if this hide button... Is pressed. Okay, this is why we make a button class because it's so beautiful. And there we go. There we go. And then we'll say this. This hidden. This hidden equals false. Else this hidden equals true. And then we'll also do the. I think. Do we have a key time? Key time. Key yo. Key time. I don't think we have a key time in here. But. Okay. But it doesn't matter. At least we have that. So once we hide it. Hopefully it will be hidden. And we will be. We'll be good. So let's see. Um, editor. Okay. It is working. It's just that. And then we can draw. Next to it. Otherwise, then we can select stuff. And we just need to get the key time working. So, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. And we'll have a little bar here, which you can't really click in. And then you'll be able to move the camera with the... So, it's really fast. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, but that's cool. That's cool. So, we can... At least it works, you know. There you go, guys and girls. That's it for this video. Um, just want to make sure that that works. I'll probably do saving a loading of the map soon, just so we have a base. And then we'll keep working on a little bit of GUI. Maybe make a little map. I suck at textures, though. But I'll try to get some textures, and we'll go from there. And the, but the most important thing is to save and load to the game itself. So hopefully we can do that. Make make a little save button in here. Um, and yeah, that should work. So there you go, guys and girls. Thank you so much for watching, sticking with me. And hopefully you learned something. Check out the description box. And I will see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.